Squirrels! Squirrels are everywhere. In fact, there are only two continents in the world that don't have squirrels. Try and guess what they might be. If you guessed Antarctica and Australia, you're right. All of the other continents have squirrels. And you might have even seen squirrels where you live or anywhere else you might have gone because they're seriously everywhere. But they're not all the same type of squirrel. California has a lot of different types of squirrels. Some of these squirrels have been here for a really long time and then others were brought here by humans and now they also live in California. Scientists like to study the different types of squirrels that live here, but how do scientists do that? I want you to think of some ideas about how could science study squirrels, animals that move around and exist all over the state of California. Did you think of yourself? You can actually be part of science. And when we have other people, just citizens being part of science, it is called citizen Some scientists who are studying squirrels started a citizen science project that you can participate in too. All you have to do is look for squirrels and then enter in what you find on their website. So today we're going to help with that project. We're going to do some citizen science and hunt for squirrels and then later we'll enter it in on the scientist's website and we'll show you how to do that. I just found one squirrel. And I want to be able to figure out what kind of squirrel I found here at Foothill Horizons. So I'm gonna write down what I noticed about it. I noticed. These things will help me figure out what kind of squirrel I just found here at Foothill Horizons. Just seen a squirrel in the top of this tree right here, jumping. It was So I think it might be the same type of squirrel that Margaret saw. And we have those squirrels all over the place here. You might have different squirrels where you're from. Different types of squirrels are everywhere. So just write down those notes so you can see what you think you found. Now that we went for a walk and we found some squirrels, we're gonna head over to the website where we enter data and help these scientists with their citizen science project. This is on a website that's linked in the caption and you can make a free account and then you can enter your data. So let's go over and see how Margaret's gonna enter our data. So Renee and I are on this website and it's called SciStarter and this is the Project Squirrel. And today we saw two gray squirrels at Foothill Horizons, which we knew they were gray squirrels from the observations that we made. And so we're gonna just click right here, two gray squirrels. Uh, you also have to say what trees are present. So make sure you make the observation about what trees you saw when you saw your squirrel. And we're just gonna say which ones were present for us. Once you have your form all filled out, hit that submit button and you just helped with science. Then what you can do is you can check out this super awesome map, which shows the data entries from all over the world of where squirrels have been sighted. It is super easy for you to help with this science project from your own home. You should try and see how many squirrels you can find and enter them into this project to help scientists with their data. There are also so many other citizen science projects. Just Google citizen science and you can find one that you can do from home. Good luck.